Hi, everybody. Dan D. Federiches from Saratoga Report. And I'm here with a, this is a special report here. Uh, we're here with uh, Maddie Zanetti, the co owner of Impressions of Saratoga, as well as the Dark Horse Mercantile. Uh, Maddie, you had a, a rough middle of the week last week. Um, uh, I'm hoping you're doing better than when things first start. Could, could you tell uh, Saratoga Report viewers what happened, why, why you're here with me today? Yeah, so on 3.30 Wednesday morning, I actually got a, re a phone call from our security system saying that there was a burglar alert. So I went down to Impressions to see what was going on. And by the time I got there, which was just before four o'clock, I live really close to the store. So by the time I got down there, um, there were police and fire truck. Everyone from the building had evacuated and our building manager, Jason, was outside and they had already put the fire out. So in less than I think it was about 20 minutes, they had the fire out. And I was like, well, this is definitely not a burglar alarm as I got closer. And Jason and the fireman there let me know that there was an electrical fire in the back of the building, the basement, which is pretty much as far away from Impressions and Broadway as you can get in that building and in the lowest level, because as you know, Filer Street goes down the hill. So we had the electrical fire in the basement there. And luckily, Jason lives in the building. He was very quick. He got everybody evacuated before the firemen showed up. He was trying to contain the fire. So when the firemen got there, they were able to put it out. He really did a fantastic job. And by 4.15, people were making plans to go somewhere else. The firemen were escorting people into the building to get their belongings because it's safe to go in the building. There's just no longer any power or water until the building right. is cleaned up in the boiler room. The electric is hooked up again and everything is inspected. But everyone was very, very fortunate and they reacted yeah. really quickly. Did I follow you correctly here that uh, Jason both evacuated the building and fought the fire a little bit? Yes. Yeah, so that's what I told him. I said that I would consider pretty him impressive. a hero. Yes. So he reacted really well because you know how it's so common now to hear alarms from a building or from a car yeah. or there's just so much noise pollution around you. You hear it and you ignore it. So he went around. There's uh, two floors of residence above impressions there's an office floor and then two floors of residence and jason went around and let everyone know that the building needed to be evacuated it wasn't a false alarm and then he went down to inspect the basement so he saw the fire and immediately called the firemen and luckily our fire station is right around the corner so they got right there and jason was down in the alley where the uh, basement entrance is, and he was trying to contain the fire as best he could, but it was something that you needed an actual fire truck to put out. Okay. And I think you said said this in some and substance, but no direct damage to impressions of Saratoga. Is that correct? No, we were so fortunate. We didn't have anything and even now we're able to go in and out uh to get product if we need to and we went in to get our computers out to move them over to dark horse and you can't even smell smoke in our in our location you you wouldn't know that anything happened other than it's very hot because we haven't had the air conditioner on since wednesday and it's been very hot so we moved the computers and all of our chocolate and candles and things that melt they're huh. not at impressions <laughs> okay okay Okay. And I keep hearing about impressions and um, the uh, uh, magic moon. Are, are there other businesses that you know of that are affected by this? Yes. So the shop who is right next door to us on Broadway and then around the corner, there's a consignment shop as well as lyrical ballad and kettlebell and Edwards frame shop. And then there's magic moon. So we're all in the same building. And Good. we're all the ones that are not open. And then upstairs on the second floor, there's a therapist, a dentist, a hair salon, a few more service industry businesses. They also are not open as of right now. Wow. This this small fire, thankfully contained, thankfully we're talking about a small fire, mm -hmm. yet it still had some, some widespread negative effect two and a half weeks out from track season, it sounds like. Yes. Yes. So. And, and, and so what, what are you, I, I saw something that you're kind of shifting 
over to the dark horse. Could, could you explain what you're doing to, to address the needs of your customers and the needs of your business, I guess? Yeah, we are very lucky because we have an online store. We have a second location. Of course, we don't sell the same things at Impressions and Dark Horse. But by Wednesday morning, we were open at Dark Horse. I want to say we opened at 9 a.m. We brought over all of our our server and we brought over all of our online orders. We brought over the Belmont products that people were interested in. And what we started doing is if anyone wanted something that was at impressions that we couldn't get to, we took orders on Wednesday. And then by Thursday, we were able to go in, get those products, bring them back to Dark Horse or ship them to wherever they need to go. And honestly, the post office has been incredibly supportive right downtown. I went in there and normally we do all of our shipping out of impressions and I have all the supplies there in our mail room. And we have a woman who does our website with us uh, to do everything. And I went to the post office and they they know that, you know, we come in every so often to grab things. And they said, oh, we can just take this back to the office and do it there. And I said, oh, well, I can't get into the store. And I explained it. And they gave me some uh, a box cutter and some supplies that I didn't have because we didn't have the office so that I could get all those shipments out from right there in the post office lobby that day. So everyone has been very supportive and helpful. And it's really it's really great. We do have a great community. Well, so okay, that that is very heartwarming to hear, and and and, and we knew that, right? You confirmed it. We yeah. sort of knew that, <laughs> and you can you yes. you you gave it as a concrete example of why we all know that. Let me ask you a question: Where are you going from here with track season starting in two and a half weeks? The summer crowds are already here. What are you doing to try to get back up and running? Yeah, so we've extended the hours at Dark Horse. Um, we're open till at least eight o'clock every night, and we are going to. We are taking it day by day with whether we can be open and what we can do. So one thing, we're still getting our receivings in, our things that we're putting product on the shelf and everything like that. So we're getting all of that in and doing all of the receiving and all of the input at the Dark Horse. And then uh, the other day, both Mayor and I, we have headlamps on and we are at impressions really quick to unload boxes and then go back with the next load of boxes to Dark Horse, get those all ready to be put on the shelf, drop those off at Impressions, and we're going back and forth. So it's a lot more moving parts, and we are handling things a lot more than the one or two times we normally would to get them on the shelves. But at least we aren't falling too far behind where we're going to have 40 or 50 boxes waiting for us when we open the doors. So we're trying to stay okay. on top of it as best we can. And that's Mayor Barker, your, your co-owner you were referring to, yes, correct? Yes, yes. So Mary and I, Marianne and I have uh, both been at the stores and working together. And our staff has been really flexible. Thank goodness they're always, they're always willing to be flexible with us and uh, always willing to help. So they've been at the dark horse, working the counter, working the floor, while Mayor and I are running back and forth and moving all the boxes around and things. Oh, okay. And, and let me go back one, one minute and we'll wind this down, but... Uh, maybe you said this. I'm sorry if I missed it. It was an electrical fire. Do, do you know what caused the electrical, electrical fire? I saw something about a, a water main break. Is that accurate? Yes. Yes. So if you, on Wednesday and Thursday, you couldn't get down Phyla Street, they found that a pipe had burst under Phyla Street. And with the direction the water was flowing, it went from Phyla Street under the sidewalk into our building into the basement there and when that basement flooded the water got into the electrical panels so hmm. it's just one of those wow. freak things that it could have happened anywhere right right um i i guess you know it's easy easy for me to say but i i think you might have it as well you know there, there was no injury certainly no loss of life no major mm -hmm. property damage this is still huge i'm not going to downplay this because it sounds like it's affecting too so many businesses but at the same time it sounds like it could have been that much worse right Yes. And of course, you know, we got through Belmont. It didn't happen Belmont week. We still have two weeks to the racing season. So, of course, if we were given the choice, we would have rather have it happen January or February <laughs> or something like that. Sure. But then we would be without heat and we'd have that issue the same way. Um, but if there's any time in this month of June that it could have happened this week is probably the week that we can deal with it. So we're very fortunate and it's, it is 
like you said too, we're so lucky, you know, um, Dawn from the candy company and Evan from Dijon jewelers, they've all done posts, um, to let people know we're not at impressions. We're over at dark horse and they've, we've had so many business owners stop in to check on us at dark horse and even past employees have reached out. We sent out an email to let our customers know where we were. And we have, a very large email database and the number of responses of people offering moving trucks or offering to come help with anything was just overwhelming. And it is so great that we do have so many people that are just willing to jump in and help any way they can. Luckily we don't really need to be moving things. We don't need all of the help, but we are so appreciative of all of the support we have been offered. I, um, while wow, this, good for you for having such an upbeat approach it kind of cracks me up though you said you and mayor were wearing headlamps <laughs> the, the yeah. day in the life of a small <laughs> business owner right oh gotta have yeah. wear headlamps and figure this out oh yeah it's always I, something and that's what one of the things we were saying is this is really throwing off the impressions pups because they're normally in the office at impressions and we don't have an office at dark horse so their whole routine is all thrown off <laughs> so um on saturday i did have one of the dogs with me uh going back and forth for impressions to dark horse and he was very happy to be back in a more regular routine even though he was uh just hanging out in the in the dark with me so <laughs> you know, we try to try to accommodate everyone <laughs> You know, speaking of the Dark Horse, you know, just about everybody's familiar with impressions. Probably fewer are as familiar with the Dark Horse. So this is a silver lining might be, folks, get down to the Dark Horse. Uh, <laughs> give them some, 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 some. Uh, you know, they appreciate this, the support of you stopping in and, 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 and you know, expressing your, your, your concern for them. Uh, there's some great products in the Dark Horse. So use this situation, which, which uh, we wouldn't wish upon anybody, but uh, check out the Dark Horse if you're not as familiar with it, uh, right between what, Suave Fair and Putnam Market? Would that be a fair description? Yeah, uh, yeah. We're at 445 Broadway. Uh, we have the Darling Donuts is right next to us. A lot of people know that. There we go. And yeah, we're right there and we have extended our hours and we're fulfilling online orders the same speed that we normally do we get everything out within 24 hours and we've had people do things that i'm just going to buy a gift card and give it as a gift or keep it and people really have been great about helping out what what what, what great support we have for our downtown mm -hmm. saratoga small business owners uh that that's this is a heartwarming I, I you know there's a sadness to this but there's a heartwarming element of this as well um, I hope in the end, uh, you know, I hope in the end, you uh, you and all the other businesses, until you listed all the businesses, I didn't realize there were that many affected, especially the second floor that I was uh, uh, not privy to. Uh, yes. So, you know, there's, there's um, uh, so I, I wish you guys the best. As well. So check out the other businesses as well. Obviously, they're not open yet, folks, but when they do reopen, they'd probably appreciate uh, you again stopping in and checking on them and then maybe making a purchase or two uh, when whenever that day comes hopefully the, hopefully this coming week uh, I can only wish wish uh, all the business owners the best there uh, Maddie thank you for joining us today maybe I'll, I'll have you back on when things change and we can talk uh, what's what's occurred in the past three or four days or something yeah definitely and we'll keep everyone updated on social media and via email so anyone who follows us will let you know day by day what we're doing Excellent. Thanks for joining us. Maddie Zanetti of Impressions of Saratoga and the Dark Horse Mercantile. Uh, I'm hoping we hear some good news in a day or two. Thanks, Maddie. Great. Thank you.